The only proper way I can think of introducing the vehicle that I'm testing today is by letting you hear the sounds of it. Oh, I love that sound. My name is Omar and today I'm test driving the 2021 Ram TRX. And it's absolutely amazing. All right, so I absolutely love pickup trucks, and for the longest time, the Ford Raptor has been a part of my dream garage. The Raptor has been one of the coolest pickup trucks you can buy with insane off-road capabilities and an insane amount of power, well, until now. Meet the 2021 Ram TRX, a Hellcat-powered Ram that makes 702 horsepower from a 6.2 liter supercharged V8, not to mention, it sounds like an actual T-Rex. Oh yeah, that's the thing, by the way, Ram calls this the TRX, but they want you to think of it as the T-Rex, but they themselves call it the TRX. I'm going to call it the Ram T-Rex. Imagine I actually bought one of these. I'd be like John Hammond from Jurassic Park every time somebody asked me, you said you've got a T-Rex? Hmm, we have a T-Rex. That said, Dr. Grant, my dear Dr. Sattler, welcome to Jurassic Park. And today, let me give you a tour of the 2021 Ram TRX, and then I'll give you my opinion on what I think about this Raptor killing beast. But before I do, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like. All right, let's do this. All right, first things first, let's do a quick launch control because this thing is the fastest, quickest, and most powerful mass-produced pickup out there. You can launch the TRX pretty quickly just by hitting this launch button here, or if you want more control over your launch control, just hit the TRX button here, go into race options, and there you can select your engine holding RPM all the way up to 3,500, all the way down to 1,000. I found it to work best between 25 to 2,800. All right, so after that launch control, I beat my best zero to 60 time of 4.1 seconds to 3.5 seconds. Is that even possible? I don't know, but that's what the performance data shows. And I'm gonna take that for what it's worth. Now, Chrysler vehicles are known for having a bunch of Easter eggs in their vehicles. Jeep has some of the best Easter eggs I've ever seen, but the Ram TRX here isn't playing around. Pop open the hood of the Ram TRX over here and remove the engine cover and you'll see how Ram takes a direct shot at Ford with a picture of a Tyrannosaurus Rex eating a Velociraptor. I love that, that's freaking amazing, and I love that automakers can have fun like this. Now, if you've ever been in a Ram truck before, you've definitely seen all the math going on under the center armrest. The thought here is that if you're at a job site and you need to solve some of the world's most difficult equations, you can use this information here to help you out. But the Petty Ram TRX uses this mat all the way down there to take another shot at the Raptor. If you pull it out, you will see a graphic showing the size comparison between a human, a Ram TRX, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a tiny little Velociraptor. That's hilarious. So if you had any doubts whether or not the Ram TRX is better than the Ford Raptor, this answers your question pretty clearly. And then you have this little plaque here that gives you your VIN number and shows you what powers this insane beastly pickup truck. That's really cool. Now, I'm not afraid to admit when I'm not so knowledgeable about something, and off-roading is definitely one of those topics. That said, there will be off-roading enthusiasts that will be taking this thing off-roading or Baja racing, and every now and then they will need a spare tire. And while you have one right here under the TRX, you can be even cooler by paying an additional $995 for this giant bed-mounted tire carrier by Mopar, which just looks freaking awesome. To be honest, if I were to get a TRX, I would definitely get this option, even though I know I will never go Baja racing or I probably will never need it, but just because of the coolness factor, I would definitely add this option. Now, if you're into off-roading, here are some other off-roading things you might want to know about. You have over 12 inches of ground clearance and you have 32 inches of water fording capability. You have some Bilston shocks if you really want to go crazy. You also have 18 inch beadlock capable wheels and these pretty massive 35 inch tires. And then you have all these off-roading pages on the inside to check the pitch and roll because that's what off-roading enthusiasts care about. Oh, and you also have a front facing camera so you can see any obstructions on the trail ahead. Honestly, these things might be cool for an off-roading enthusiast. For me, they're just cool factors in this Ram TRX. 
And if you really want to see how the Ram TRX looks going crazy Baja style, here's a quick video from Ram. So whether or not you're going to buy the Ram TRX just to be cool, or if you're going to go Baja racing, you will have to pay a pretty penny because pricing starts at $69,995. As tested here though, you're looking at $87,670. So it is pretty expensive. That's definitely quite a bit more than the Ford F-150 Raptor, which starts at around $53,000, but you're getting way more with the TRX. Now, if you're somebody that likes their cars to be fully loaded, a fully loaded TRX can run you north of $96,000, and that's pretty crazy for a Ram pickup truck. Of course, you can justify that price tag by saying that this Ram here is a bit more special than any other Ram, but that's still a lot of money. My test model here is pretty loaded, but I went to Ram's website and spec'd one out for myself to see how much it'll cost. So I added the TRX Level 1 package, which will give you a bit more luxury by swapping out the cloth seats for powered leather trim bucket seats. It will also give you heated front seats and a heated steering wheel so you can stay warm if you live in a cold weather state. I definitely added the 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system for $1,195 because I really appreciate a solid sound system. And then I added the panoramic sunroof for $1,495, which my test model here doesn't have. And of course, I had to have this bed mounted tire carrier to look cool for an additional $995. Total all that up and you're looking at a price tag of right under $79,000. So you don't have to go fully loaded for $96,000. You can still enjoy it for around $79,000. Now let's talk about power and performance. Power comes from the Hellcat 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 making 700 and two horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque. And that's made it to a fast shifting ZF eight speed automatic transmission. And that means you will be able to do zero to 60 in an officially quoted time of 4.5 seconds. I've done it in 4.1 seconds. You have a top speed of 118 miles an hour and you can run a quarter mile in this thing in 12.9 seconds at 108 miles an hour, which is absolutely crazy for a pickup truck. You can circle through your drive modes by using these two buttons right here. And then you have some really nice graphics to accompany the drive mode changes in the gauge cluster. And you can pick between auto, snow, tow, sport, Baja, rock, mud and sand, and custom. So not only does the Ram TRX cost a lot of money, but you'll be spending a lot at the gas station because when it comes to fuel economy, you only get 10 city and 14 highway and 12 miles per gallon combined. You have a 33 gallon tank capacity. I'm averaging after a few days of driving a total of an amazing 9.9 miles a gallon. So yeah, it's absolutely terrible. Now let's check out the outside of the Ram TRX because this thing looks really, really tough and insanely large. Does it look better than the Ford F-150 Raptor? Well, for me, the verdict is still out. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is definitely a better performance truck than the Raptor, but I'm not too sure about which looks better. So let me know in the comments which you think looks better. Personally, I definitely would have loved to see more from the 2016 Ram 1500 Rebel TRX concept make it into production because that concept looked totally beast. The front end looks especially aggressive and that could be due to the wider fenders that make the Ram TRX 8 inches wider than the standard Ram 1500 and to be completely honest, it's absolutely difficult to park this thing. The front end also features this giant hood scoop which Ram says is responsible for 50% of the air entering to cool that giant engine under the hood. And to make it look even more aggressive, you have these really cool clearance lamps in the hood scoop since regulations require any vehicles over 80 inches to have additional lighting. The TRX spans a width of 88 inches, so yeah, it's pretty massive. Now the other 50% of the air enters the engine through this giant grill, which also features a giant Ram logo, and if you look closely, the Ram logo is not blocked off and remains fully open to help with the cooling. From the back, the Ram T-Rex looks pretty much like any other pickup truck besides the fact that it's really wide, has a TRX badge, and has wider dual exhaust. Which is why, again, I would get that bed-mounted tire carrier because I want this thing to look tough from every angle. And if you want to make sure that everybody knows that you're driving a TRX, you can get a TRX graphic right here on the side for an extra $495. Obviously, my test model here doesn't have it, so everybody thinks I'm driving a really cool-looking Ram. Now let's hop inside the new Ram TRX because just like every other Ram truck, the interior is really, really nice. Now last year I tested the Ram Rebel Eco Diesel, which carried a price tag of over $70,000. And I mentioned in there that the interior definitely matched that price tag. And same goes for the TRX here. The interior is more luxurious than the competitors, very comfortable and packed with some really nice tech. Is it $87,000 nice or $96,000 nice? Maybe not, but for the type of segment of vehicle we're looking at here, it's pretty well done. 
everything that's visible is pretty nice to the touch. You have leather or fake leather, can't really tell, but it looks really nice. You have some nice stitching over here, a really cool steering wheel with some Alcantara here. You have leather or fake leather here on the side door panels, along with some stitching. Overall, it's pretty nice in here. There is definitely some hard plastic like over here, maybe on the lower sides of the door panels and some around down here, but that's expected. You're in a pickup truck. You don't want something too nice that you can't clean after going off-roading. But overall, I think it's a pretty nice cabin. Now, I'm not gonna dive too deep into this infotainment system since I've already reviewed it in the Ram Rebel Eco Diesel, so I'll link that below. What you have here is a 12 inch giant vertical display that houses the Uconnect 4 infotainment system. You have Apple CarPlay, you have Android Auto, so you're pretty set there. You have physical climate control buttons. Overall, the system is very quick, free of glitches, and easy to use. The only hangup that it has sometimes is that when you press the TRX button and load your performance pages, they take a little bit to load. You just have to wait. Wait, still loading, and this is way too long. I've, it happens when you first start the car, but after you've accessed it, you can go back pretty easily, but it's still loading, as you can see. Wow, this is taking forever. This is the first time I'm loading it after starting it. Come on, come on, TRX. I hope it'll load. Still going. There you go, finally. Now let's hop into the second row and check out the legroom. Once you get in here, you have a massive amount of legroom. You have 41 inches of legroom. I'm about six foot tall. That's my seating position. And I can straight up kick back and relax. You can straight up live in here if you want to. Now, if you want to spend the money like my test model here, you can go for the TRX level two package and it will give you heated and cooled rear seats. You don't really see cooled rear seats in the back of pickup trucks, but this one has it. You also have two USB-C ports and two USB ports and an outlet to keep yourself charged and ready to go. And a cool thing I wanted to point out here, if you need more storage space, you could just lift this seat up and you have more storage space. Pretty cool. And say you're in the middle of a desert doing some Baja racing and you need access to a first aid kit, well, you can get one with the TRX here. Let me just open this up and show you inside. Now, once you get it open, you'll see that the first aid kit is translated in English and Arabic. You have Arabic here and English there. And I think that's because Ram knows they'll sell a lot of these in the United States and the Middle Eastern countries like United Arab Emirates. Obviously, you'll see a lot of these in Dubai. Now, before I give you my opinion on how it is to drive the Ram TRX, let me point out a few random things that I'll have to show all of you. You have about eight or four cup holders, depending on how you look at it. You have two in the middle and then you have two on the sides of each door and then you have two in the back for the rear passengers. So yeah, either you have four or you have eight, depending on how you're gonna use it. Here are what the keys look like for the Ram TRX. Pretty straightforward, no red key here. You do have a nice little TRX logo. Let's remote start this thing up. Oh man, that sounds good. Door open and close sound from the outside and from the inside. Pretty Ram, but pretty solid. Last but not least, here is the indicator and horn sound on the 2021 Ram TRX. Pretty Ram indicator, and then the horn sound. Pretty solid. Now that I've given you a tour of the 2021 Ram TRX or T-Rex, let me give you my opinion on what I think about it. All right, let's get to it. Now, when it comes to pickup trucks, I will probably never use them for what they're meant for and what they're good at. I don't go off-roading and I don't own my own home improvement commercial business where I'll need one. I basically enjoy pickups for the coolness factor and right now this is the coolest pickup that you can buy. Take it easy Tesla fanboys, the Ram TRX is here and the Cybertruck isn't so chill out. Now the Ram 1500 is currently my favorite pickup truck. It looks amazing, has an outstanding interior, has massive amounts of rear legroom. You could basically live in here if you wanted to. That being said, the Ram TRX is probably the most insane vehicle that you can buy right now. This heavy giant pickup truck will do zero to 60 in the low four second range. Not to mention, you can also take it to the track and run a quarter mile in it in about 12.9 seconds. I think as a daily driver, the Ram TRX can become a little bit cumbersome. This thing is huge, so it's hard to park it in normal parking spots and it's hard to keep it in lanes when you're driving on tiny roads. So you really have to pay attention. I think if you ended up buying one, you would probably understand the proportions of it over time and understand its limitations. Surprisingly, it handles really, really well. The steering feel is very tight and it makes you feel like you have a lot of control over this giant thing. Now, if you're somebody looking for a Hellcat powered family vehicle, you do have the option of the Dodge Durango Hellcat and that will give you an extra third row. But the trade-off there is that you're giving up the nicer interior that you have on the Ram. 
The new Durango does have a better interior, but it's still aging. The Ram's interior is a lot, lot better. Not to mention the Ram TRX does have 41 inches of rear legroom and you have a big bed for cargo capacity. So this can be your family vehicle. Obviously the people that should be buying this are the ones that are gonna use this as a Baja racing pickup truck. But who says, there's no rule written that you can't buy a Baja racing truck as your daily driver. If you want one, go ahead and buy one. It's more than the Raptor in every way possible. It has more power, more gadgets, more tech, more capability, but it also costs a lot more than the Raptor. Starting around $70,000, this is not cheap, but if you want one of the craziest vehicles out there, one of the craziest pickups out there, and one of the craziest things that Dodge has ever put a Hellcat engine in, buy this because I promise you, you will never regret it. Well, you probably won't regret it until you see that you're averaging nine miles per gallon then yeah, then maybe you'll probably regret it. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, peace. Oh man, I would love to own one of these things.